Back in the late 60s, early 70s, I promoted Speedway motorcycles here at the fairgrounds. No one else was ever able to get an event in here. They had some monster trucks and a few other things. And about, well, five years ago this year, uh, I contacted the people at the, uh, at the fairgrounds and said, you know what, we have a motorcycle show we'd like to bring in. And uh, we met with them and talked to them, and, and the fair manager is a motorcycle rider. So he said, uh, sure, you know, bring them. My name's Luke Goff. I'm from a little town called Hilltop, and that's from Australia. I'm here at Bakersfield doing the Digger Pro Open. I've always raced dirt. I've done a bit of everything on racing. I've done motocross and I've done supermoto and a little bit of road and I've done a few things here and there, but I've always just loved dirt track. It's so much fun. So when it become time to me trying to go professional, all I wanted to do was do dirt track. So I come to America to pursue my dream. I'd love to be able to um, mix it up with Jared and Joe and maybe try to get in the top three and it'd be great to try to win this thing. That's what I'm aiming for, but I'm happy just to get out there as long as I have a good solid ride and we all have fun. They're all a good bunch of people that are here, so I'm sure we'll have lots of fun. I've been with Eddie's series about eight years, I guess, seven years. Uh, he and I sort of grew up together. First time I ever saw him, he was 12, and I was winning everything, and he went by me like I was parked over at Ridgecrest at a, at a TT race. So I tracked him down in the pits to see what he looked like. and. Uh, he had about three whiskers and a bunch of pimples and, and was 12 years old. And he was fast as lightning then, still is fast, if anyone's gone to Pike's Peak and watched him. I'm trying to stay competitive in dirt track on the national scene and it helps to just stay on a bike. And uh, we had a couple weeks off at home and I knew Eddie had a pretty good purse down here that him and Digger Helm put together. And uh, a little short track, I've never been to this one before, so I thought, had a local kid, Wyatt McGuire, that was in town that wanted to go do it too. So we hopped in the van and made the quick trip. It's totally different from like the half miles or the miles that we normally run on the Harleys. But uh, at the same thing, it helps me out a bunch just because it gives me seat time and I'm banging, banging bars with the same guys that I would battle with out on the national scene. It's just mainly seat time more than anything, you know. It's a totally different feel on this bike versus my Harley, obviously, but racing's racing. I really like to thank uh, Digger Helm and Eddie Muller for putting on this great series they do. I just started coming to a couple of the Eddie's series races last year down in Willow Springs and uh, had a great time with it and brought my family down. And So this is my third Eddie Muller race I've been to, I guess, and just seems to be getting funner and funner. My name is Heather Avery. I'm at the Eddie Muller West Coast Vintage Dirt Track Series, and I work for Max's Tires still in the learning experience as well with this type of racing. That's why I wanted to be able to come out here and to experience it and be able to see the different types of you know tires that are involved with this and the different types of riders and the people, just the people in general that are involved with this racing. Who's the favorite dirt tracker? Come on, tell them. Eddie Mulder. Jared Meeks. <laughs> who's, your favorite, who's your favorite current dirt tracker? Yeah. Young man. <laughs> Young man. All right, Jared Meeks. All right. Just 12 backwards, it all works. 12 backwards, there you go. The guy said to me one day, he said, you know, there's going to be a race next month out north of town. Do you want to enter it? And I said, I'm not a racer. And he said, well, you could be. You know, all you got to do is go out there and go as fast as you can go without getting in trouble and falling down. And you'll pass people and people will pass you and you'll have fun. Well, there's 48 guys in the first. It was hair scrambles. 48 guys in and I got 15th. I was hooked. I've, I've traveled with uh, guys that were number one and, you know, a lot of guys. It was a lot of fun. I had a great time for eight years. Finally got to the point where I had a couple of kids and decided that maybe I needed to stay home and not do this. So uh, then Eddie came along and saved me or got me back in trouble again. I'm not sure which one it is, but uh, uh, I, knowing him for as long as I have, it's just a great relationship and, and uh, I have a lot of fun with him. 